Hey, what's up, guys? So, first, look at that stick. Look at the shadow. Now, now, look at this stick. Look at its shadow. With that, what's the radius of the Earth? For my first video, I hope to go big. Not this big. Not this big. Not even this big. I'm gonna go Earth big. Yeah, let's do this. So, when you want to measure a round object, it's simple. If it's small, measure its diameter, and that's it. But, Earth is bigger than this. You cannot measure the diameter of the Earth just like by measuring circumference. That's not doable. So, how do you do it? Imagine this is the Earth. How do you measure its radius, right? You can't just measure the circumference. I really tried that. So, what you do is take a chunk out of the Earth, mass destruction everywhere, but this is going to be able to measure the radius of the Earth. This section is constrained by three things. It's constrained by the angle difference, by the total distance in this arc, and by the radius of the Earth. So if I can measure two of them, I can know the third one. So if I measure the angle difference and the total distance, I can get the radius of the Earth. So now, how do you measure the angle difference? So guys, yeah, welcome to the frozen tundra. Locals here call it Montreal. Yeah, French, I know. De la blé, de blue blah blé. Ah, look at this setup. Look at that. I know it's simple, but I just think I lowered my expectations as to what a cool setup is. One might even say I lowered my bar. Yeah, okay. Welcome to the land of a thousand degrees, i.e. Costa Rica, my home. So if you notice right here, I'm having a similar setup. Wait, let me get that better. Except there's one thing different. It's a different stick. Yeah. Apparently, if I try to bring a stick through airport security, they call, they call security. It's fine when the janitor does it, but when I do it, you have to check me up. <laughs> I'm kidding, I didn't try to bring a broomstick through security. But, yeah, apparently they have broomsticks in Costa Rica. Who would have thought? What? So, one way to measure the angle difference between Montreal and Costa Rica is to use, use the sun. And use shadows. So if I know the length of this and I know the length of its shadow, I can get the angle from the sun. Yeah, it's that simple. Cool. So there are many ways to measure the earth. One of them is using shadows and light. How you do it is you stick a uh, you stick a toothpick inside a sphere, and then that's how you measure the Earth. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> so, if you see this toothpick, its shadow, it's going to vary depending on its angle with the light. So if you have two toothpicks, you can measure the two angles, and then that is going to give an angle difference in between these two. Now that I know the angle, how do you measure the total length? And this, my friends, comes from airplanes. <laughs> yeah, so engineers back in the day decided to load airplanes up with sensors. It went something like this. So, guys, um, you have any ideas on how to make this plane better? I had a couple in mind, but what do you guys think? 
ooh, ooh, I know, I know, I know. Um, what if we make the seats so close together that's uncomfortable, but not that close that's enough to complain? Okay, it's a good idea, but not exactly what I had in mind. Ooh, 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 ooh. I know, I know, I know. What happens if we make a PA system that's so bad that when the captain speaks, nobody understands him? Okay, it's a good idea too, but not exactly what I had in mind. I know, I know, I know. What happens if we make the audio with two audio jacks instead of one? So no one can use the regular headphones. It's a great idea. Ah, okay. Sensors. That's how you make a plane better. All of the data needs to be collected. All of it. All of the data. No, no. Data. Yes. Okay, did someone write those ideas down? Because we might do that. Those were, those were good ideas. Yeah, okay. Now that I have the angle difference, I only need one more constraint, and that is the distance. So, how do you get that? And as you've seen from my awesome little skit, I'm gonna get it from the airplane. So, uh, after I'm trying to make a video over here. Yes, a video. Yeah, so I spoke to the captain, and he gave me the mileage. Unfortunately, the captain didn't want to be filmed. I don't know, it's a weird dude trying to ask how much the plane traveled. So, unfortunately, I don't have video of that, but I do have the mileage, which is, I'm gonna learn how to do it down here. <laughs> so, for the math to work out in this experiment, I had to make a couple of assumptions. Uh, first, well, I can't believe I'm saying this, but I had to assume that the world is round. Yes, I'm talking to you, Flat Earth Society. Yeah, wait, hold on, somebody's calling the office. Yep, okay, I'm gonna go pick up. Hello? Uh-huh. Yes, yes. Yeah, it's... It's a 1300s calling. They want their theory back. Oh! <laughs> Burn. Okay, now that I have the measurements from the stick in Costa Rica and the stick in Montreal, plus the distance, which are all going to be highlighted here. I don't know how to do it yet, but I'm going to learn. I have no idea what I'm doing. Um, I'm just going to plug in the numbers. Let me go fetch my calculator. 12 seconds later. Just to note, let me go get my calculator is one of the nerdiest things I've said. But I'm going to finish plugging in the numbers. Point seventy six percent error. Yeah, I think that deserves a pencil drop. Fuck, where did it go? I'll fetch it later. But yeah, point seventy six percent error of the Earth radius. What? Ah, uh, to be honest, I'm gonna credit that to the accuracy in the planes, the AQ system. If it weren't for an accurate reading in the distance, the measurement of the shadow would not be as good as I wanted to. But I got it in between 50 kilometers of the Earth radius. What? What? Okay, but yeah, that's my experiment. Thank you for watching. I just wanted to note a couple things while you watch me try to catch balls. Um, yeah, so this, first of all, this was not my idea. This has been a long concept ever since ancient Greece. And that's one of the first measurements of the Earth. So I just wanted to do it because it looked cool. And why not measure the radius of the Earth? But yeah, so it's not my idea. I'll leave a link to a couple of Wikipedia pages down below. So you can check them out. And there's a couple more videos that do exactly this. But it's not me, so. Thank you for watching.